What's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to rebirthedu.com. I'm your host, Kendrick, aka Oso the Great. Back again with the next installment of the seven habits of highly effective people. Right now, we're on habit number five, right? So, this habit is called Seek First to Understand, Then to Be Understood. It's the principles of empathetic communication, right? That's a super long title for this chapter but it's it's a it's a simple concept to understand really really difficult to do really hard and i struggle with this daily and every person that i know struggles with this um it's tough but it's possible and it's really really crucial if you want to be uh, an effective and successful person, uh, whether it's in uh, your relationships that are um, friendships or romantic relationships or business relationships or sales or whatever you got going on, this this stuff is crucial, right? So uh, before we dive into it, make sure you hit like, subscribe, helps out the algorithm and the channel, helps spread some love, and it's free. Don't cost you nothing. So do it. Right now, hit the button right now. So, let's move into it. Seek first to understand, then to be understood, right? So, it's like I said, it sounds like a simple concept, but it's really hard, right? So, when we grow up, we learn how to read, we learn how to write, uh, we learn how to express ourselves in body language. These are all things that we learn growing up and it ends up becoming really easy for us to do. We can, we can spit off pretty much anything. We, for the most part, most people never really are taught how to listen effectively. But you've never taken a class on listening. They have speech classes. They have speech therapy they have uh, uh, public speaking classes to kind of help you get over that fear. You, I, I, it's hard pressed for you to find a listening class, but this is is definitely lost art, right? Especially nowadays, where everybody's pretty narcissistic and everybody's really kind of full of themselves. Everybody has their own story that they want to share, right? Listening is something that is not a common skill set. Right. But uh, if you want to be a highly effective person, you want to be successful, um, you want to develop relationships. This is something you're going to have to learn how to do. Um, so the, the, the key here is for you to be able to listen without the intent to respond. Right. Because most of the time when you're listening to what people say, you're probably thinking about what you're going to say in return. You're not listening to what they're saying empathetically and putting yourself in their shoes to really understand what they're saying, how they're feeling, what uh, what they're trying to express, what what you want them to know about, what, what they want you to know about their situation from their point of view, right? Again, really hard to do. Even as you're listening to me right now, you're thinking of something else or you're thinking about a response or you're thinking, ah, man, this dude don't know what the hell he's talking about. Or you might be thinking, man, you know what? Maybe he's right. Or who knows what you're thinking, but man, 99 times out of 100, you're not genuinely listening to what I'm telling you. You know how I know you're not? Because you didn't hit the like button, Right? It's free. Didn't cost you nothing. So it, it happens. It happens so often. It's, it's so difficult um, for anybody to just really do. And man, honestly, it's, it's really hard for me to give you tips with this one um, because it is such a simple concept. You have to force yourself to really listen without the intent to respond and to really understand the person that you're talking to. It's, it's that, it's that simple. 
I really don't have much to add on top of that. So this video might be shorter than what the normal videos are. This is it, man. This is this is one of the things that helped me um, and does help me become a better husband and a better father, right? Um, especially especially being a father, because how often do parents really listen to their kids? Um, we we tend to think that we know everything, and uh, uh, because we've been there, we used to be kids, and you know. They're the fruit of our loins, right? So um, we we know better than they do. And uh, and whether that's the case or whether that's not the case, you know, we tend to not really listen to what our kids say. And we generally want to just either give them advice or give them orders or tell them what to do. And uh, same thing with our spouses. Um, you know, we listen to them, but how often do we listen to them and really want to take in what they're saying to understand what they're saying on a regular basis. You know, maybe when crisis mode hits and, and you know, your wife is breaking down, you really start to listen. Or maybe when your husband is really upset, yeah, maybe you start to really listen so you can kind of rectify the situation. But right at that juncture, we're in crisis mode. Maybe if, maybe if we uh, are a bit proactive about the listening aspect and really trying to understand we can rectify some of these situations before they even come up. That's just a thought. Leave a comment below. Let me know um, how you feel about listening. Are you a good listener? Like a real listener though, right? Let me know what's up, man. Maybe you got some tips for me because like I said, I'm still learning all this game too. So share some game with me. I'm listening, right? I gotta use this thing because, you know, I can't find my mic. It's, it's, I got stuff all in boxes, you know, that's why I got this nothing wall behind me and stuff like that. Still trying to set up things in the office. What's that behind me? What's that? Got a couple of swords right here. This is my thing. I know people collect a lot of things. My mentor, he collects uh, Rolexes. But this is my thing here. I collect so I mean, I love this one. It's one of my favorite ones that I have um, with the pearl inlay. Oh, so nice, man. Two body blade, maybe. Super nice. And if y'all don't know what that means about one or two body blade, look it up. I mean, it's sharp. I mean, it's super sharp and uh, you know, that might be the first line of defense. Don't come in my house. We out here, all right? So, yeah, let me know if you guys are a good listener. Let me know if you're piss poor at listening, you know? Give me some game if you got some game. And if you don't, hey, let's talk about it, man. Let's learn this together. That's what we're doing, right? So, y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow.